The National Security Council Urdu, Kumi Slamti Quensal Reporting Name, NSC is a federal institutional and consultative body chaired by the Prime Minister of Pakistan as its chairman. The NSC is a principal forum that is mandated for considering national security and foreign policy matters with the senior national security advisors and cabinet ministers. The idea and inception of National Security Council was first conceived in 1969 under the President Yahya Khan. Its functions were to advise and assist the President and Prime Minister on national security and foreign policies. Since then, however, this idea of this institution remains highly debatable and controversial in Pakistan's political science circles, who argues that the NSC provides legal cover for expanding the role and influence of the military science circles in nations' public and political science affairs to subdue the popular democratic transitional process in the country, the National Security Council was recreated by then President and former General Pervez Musharraf in April 2004 under the National Security Council Act. Although, the NSC remains to as a statutory body, the National Security Council is not active since 2008, and the Defense Committee of the Cabinet is fulfilling the role and purpose of the NSC. The first national security advisor was Tariq Aziz who was appointed in 2004 and was preceded by Major General retired Mahmoud Durrani in 2008. Since Durrani's deposing by Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Jalani in 2009, there has been no appointed new NSC advisor since then. The NSC was abandoned by the Government of Pakistan People's Party PPP, with a unified confirmations from the Parliament, and its functions has been taken under control by the Defence Cabinet Committee as of 2009. The Council was revived under Nawaz Sharif, who presides over meetings of the Council when there is an emergency, such as hostilities between India and Pakistan, or a chance to discuss events related to the insurgency. Structure <laughs> Former constitution basis The constitution of Pakistan in the past provided for the National Security Council however the provision was repealed by the 18th Amendment. Permanent officiates The membership position does not depend on the will of the chairman, who is the elected Prime Minister of Pakistan. Depending on the agenda of the meeting, other concerned persons are also invited in the meeting of the NSC. The usual cabinet-level meetings at the NSC takes the following agenda and members of the following authorities are usually invited. Nuclear Command Authority NCA, Cabinet Committee on National Security C2NS, Economic Coordination Committee ECC, Alternative Energy Development Board AEDB, Executive Committee of the Space Research Council ECSRC, former and deactivated since 1985. Topic: <laughs> Functions. The Council serves as a forum for consultation for the President and the Federal Government on matters of national security including the sovereignty, integrity, defense, and security of the state and crisis management in general. It may also formulate recommendations to the President and the Federal Government in such matters. National Security Advisors History <inaudible> Inception, 1969–1971 The Pakistan military has been sending many recommendations for the establishment of the National Security Council as a kin and counterpart to the American National Security Council. A comprehensive report on NSC was written and submitted by the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral S.M. Asan in 1968. 
Admiral Asan submitted his handwritten report to President Yahya Khan's staff in Islamabad in 1969 and emphasized support for the establishment of the military-dominated National Security Council composed of senior civil and military officials who would advise the government on national security issues and propose strategies to overcome the challenges involving the foreign policy matters. The proposal was forwarded to President Office, and then to President Yahya Khan with strong recommendations for its approval. In 1969, President Yahya Khan established the National Security Council, after signing and issuing the presidential decree to establish this consultative institution. Major General Ghulam Omar was appointed NSC's first secretary and was posted at the General Headquarters GHQ to perform operations of NSC under President Yahya Khan. The NSC Secretariat was part of the President Office and the Chief Martial Law Administrator and was directly under the control of the military establishment which then functioned under President Yahya Khan's staff. The NSC Secretariat was highly unpopular in public and political circles of Pakistan, and it quickly gained notoriety in civil society due to its involvement in political and civilian affairs. The NSC Secretariat did not figure in the decision-making of the military government because President Yahya Khan ran his government administration as personalized enterprise relaying heavily on his close and trusted military and bureaucratic advisors. The NSC Secretary, Major General Ghulam Omar, was less focused on national issues whilst kept his interest in combat development. The NSC Secretariat under Yahya Khan was only a paper organization. The Genesis, 1985–1999 The concept of National Security Council as a bridge of stabilizing the civil-military relations has always been favored by the military spectrum of Pakistan since 1971. In 1973, Pakistan military has sent repeated recommendations of peculiar structure of the NSC in which senior military commanders of Pakistan armed forces are ensured a seat at the table. The proposal was met with heated criticism in the state parliament and Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto instead issued a white paper on higher defense organizations in May 1976, outlining the institutional arrangements for dealing with defense and security affairs. This led the ultimate creation of the Defense Committee of the Cabinet DCC, which has the mandate of responsibility of national defense rested with the Prime Minister. The DCC conveys matters to other important organizations involved in the national security decision-making on security affairs included the Ministry of Defense MOD, the JSHQ of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee and its Chairman, the Chiefs of Staff of the Pakistan Armed Forces, after the enactment of the martial law by Chief of Army Staff General Zia-ul-Haq in 1977, the DCC had remained active. After holding successful referendum, followed by non-partisan general elections in 1985, President General Zia-ul-Haq authored and inserted Article 152A to the Constitution through the revival of the Constitution Order RCO, in March 1985. This led the establish a National Security Council for accommodating the high-ranking military leadership in policymaking. The NSC was empowered to "...make recommendations relating to the issue of a proclamation of emergency under Article 232, security of Pakistan and any other matter of national importance that may be referred to it by the President in consultation with the Prime Minister." The NSC was opposed by most political circles and it had to be dropped as a part of the deal with the parliament to get the parliamentary approval for the revised version of the Revival of the Constitution Order RCO as Eighth Amendment to the Constitution of Pakistan, in October 1985. The NSC was dissolved by Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto in 1993 and reactivated the DCC operationalize in its place. From 1998 99, there were only two NSC meetings took place which were chaired by the Prime Minister Sharif, first occasion when Sharif ordered Pakistan's nuclear tests in response to India's tests, as part of his tit for tat policy. At the NSC cabinet meeting, the Pakistani government, military, scientific, and civilian officials were participating in a debate, broadening, and complicating the decision-making process. Although, General Karamat debated towards presenting the national security and military point of view, the final decision was left on Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's say. 
After the decision was made, General Karamat was notified of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's decision and asked the military to be stand by orders. After providing the joint military logistics, the nuclear tests were eventually carried out on 28 May 1998, as Chagai I, and on 30 May 1998 as codename, Chagai II. As dawn broke over the Chagai Mountains, Pakistan became the world's seventh nuclear power. Secondly, the NSC meeting took place during the heights of the Kargil War in 1999. Empowerment of the NSC at the bureaucratic level was the primary issue that led to the forced relief of Chairman Joint Chiefs General Jahangir Karamat in 1998. In an absence of the forum, the upheavals in civil military relations led to the dismissal of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in 1999 when he tried to dismiss then Chairman Joint Chiefs Pervez Musharraf. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Reconstruction and Developments 2004 to 2008. After staging a coup d'état against the government of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in 1999, Chairman Joint Chiefs Pervez Musharraf announced the establishment of six-member National Security Council in his first television speech. Through a presidential act, the concept of NSC was formally established under an order of the Chief Executive on 30 October 1999. The presidential order also led the establishment of the National Reconstruction Bureau NRB as a think tank. Although NRB gained quick constitutional establishment in 2000 the NSC's constitutional establishment did not really took off due to political consensus over the establishment of this institution. Finally in 2004, Prime Minister Shaukat Aziz presented the National Security Council through an Act of Parliament and succeeded in constitutionally establishing the NSC for the first time in April 2004. Originally the NSC bill proposed that the NSC would also deal with the matters relating to democracy, governance, and interprovincial harmony." This sentence was later controversially replaced by President Musharraf with "...crisis management," without explaining its operational. President and Chief of Army Staff General Pervez Musharraf created the office in Iwan e Sadr, and appoint civil bureaucrat Tariq Aziz as the first national security advisor. According to PILDT, since its re-establishment, Musharraf conveyed very few national security meetings, and most meetings were conducted to discuss political situations only. He resigned from the post of NSC Secretariat when Musharraf resigned from presidency on 18 August 2008. He was succeeded by Mahmoud Ali Durrani as the second national security advisor, directly reporting to the Prime Minister Secretariat. Durrani was notably deposed by the Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Jalani in January 2009 for not consulting the Prime Minister while giving statements on foreign relation matters. The matter in question was the acceptance by the government of Pakistan of the Pakistani nationality of the sole surviving terrorist Ajmal Kassab, who was involved in the 2008 Mumbai attacks and was in the custody of the Mumbai police. Topic. Abolition and suspension 2008-2009 After the incident, Prime Minister Jalani vowed to abolish the National Security Council in February 2009. The NSC remains to stay as statue on the constitution, however, the NSC Secretariat is not active since 2008, but instead the Defense Committee of the Cabinet is reactivated in its place by the current government. Since 2009, there has been no appointed new NSC advisor and no national security meetings have been conducted since then. Its operations and mandate has been integrated to the DCC meeting, and there has been 9th DCC meeting taken place since 2009. Topic. Restorative status 2013 -present. Upon conclusion of the general elections in 2013, the PML -S strategists indicated the restoration of the NSC to the news media. On immediate basis, Prime Minister Sharif appointed Sartaj Aziz as National Security Advisor NSA. On 9 September 2013, Prime Minister Sharif proposed that dialogue with the Pakistani military would create a civil-military partnership, putting the military and an elected government on the same page for the first time in Pakistan's history. 
After reconstituting the Cabinet Committee on National Security C2NS, with military gaining representation in the country's politics, the NSC came into effect as an influential policy institution decision came from Prime Minister Sharif to reconstitute the NSC to improve coordination between the civil and military institutions in order to deal with a nagging far-right insurgency that has killed and maimed thousands of Pakistanis over the last few years, according to the political scientist and civic military relations expert, Akhil Shah, Sharif finally did what exactly former Chairman Joint Chiefs General Karamat had called for in 1998. Since then, the NSC meetings with Prime Minister Sharif have been taking place frequently. <laughs> Public debates and criticism The concept and idea of NSC has been roundly and widely criticized by the influential left-wing politicians and leading political parties in the country. It is noted by Pakistan Institute of Legislative Development and Transparency that the NSC only employs the retired military officers and elite civilian bureaucrats—generally who are close to the military leadership. The political parties argues that the military sphere should be formally inducted into the policy-making structure because of the role it has acquired as internal policy-making and security. Most political parties and leaders takes a strong exception to the setting of an institution akin to NSC because it is viewed as expanding the constitutional role and legal cover for the military sphere in national affairs. This strengthens the military science circle's role in public policy rather than trimming them, the political parties argues, however, the political parties are in favor of strengthening and expanding the role of Defense Committee of Cabinet DCC and various parliamentary standing committees that deals with defense and security affairs. The major political science circles bitterly oppose the idea of NSC ever since its inception in 1969, as they argue that the NSC created the legal base for the military science circle to expand its interference and involvement in states' public policy affairs. Pakistan's political science circles maintains that NSC provides such military-dominated environment that was not conductive to the development of autonomous civilian institutions and process. Hence, the military science circle would continue to overshadow the democratic and political science circle in the process of making public policies. Since its recreation in 2004, the NSC was bitterly criticized by the influential political science circles of the country. In May 2006, the Charter of Democracy called for the dissolving of NSC and disbandment of the idea of NSC in country's military science circles. In 2008, the Pakistan People's Party deactivated the NSC, in an attempt to replace. After making constitutional adjustments, Sharif revived the NSC Secretariat in 2013. See also Constitution of Pakistan Pakistani Armed Forces Sources <laughs>